This is Raiden, my beautiful, sweet. Uh, sometimes. Seven-year-old autistic son who's that happy, goofy kid <laughs> who you'll usually find in a tree or on a pole at a playground. And this is our mini journey with going on a keto diet, then keto board diet. The keto diet has already been controversial enough, but what happens when an even more restrictive diet comes into play? What is keto board? Keto board is between carnivore and keto. It is a diet that's mostly animal based, but remains to keep a person in a ketosis state. It's higher in protein, high in animal fats, but veggies and fruits are kept to a small amount. Why I decided to do keto board was for two reasons. One, my son Raiden just didn't really care for veggies, and it kind of just naturally happened. Instead of constantly finding a way to hide veggies and fruits in his diet, it was much easier not having to worry if he was getting enough of these so-called high nutrient foods. And let's be real, we want to go with what's convenient, and in this case I'm lucky that there is a lot of literature that supports this decision. The even bigger reason of why I got him off of veggies is that there is just one fundamental thing that is right in front of our face but we seem to ignore this fact. Plants are toxic. Not only do they have toxins, but they are also anti-nutrient as well. But it's not as well known that we don't have the right enzymes to process these toxins, so they bind to nutrients in our bodies passing through us. This is the reason many people wonder, why is it that they are eating all these great fruits and veggies but find that they are low in electrolytes, B vitamins, etc. Then having to take a whole bunch of supplements at higher doses to make up for the difference. With all that being said, I'm not completely opposed to veggies, but I don't eat them raw anymore. I mostly stick to fermented ones when I do consume them. As far as what we've experienced, it wasn't hard for either Raiden or myself to become keto bore as we started off being on the keto diet. Raiden eats mostly chicken, pork, like bacon and ribs, and dairy, and at rare times, beef. Being autistic, we are born metabolically challenged. You will find many of us still lacking in nutrients even when on such a clean diet, but I emphasize that regardless, being on an animal-based diet is significantly more beneficial than a ketogenic diet that's high in low-carb veggies and fruits. Comment below to ask me questions or comments. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to help others on this journey. Raiden was diagnosed at three with moderate autism spectrum disorder. He was mostly nonverbal, didn't really interact too much, didn't acknowledge those around him, often bounced off walls, literally, had very frequent meltdowns every day. He woke up in the middle of the night three to five times a week, had difficulty dressing himself or preparing himself to go out or get simple things like water for himself. He also had frequent hard and light colored stools, would refuse different foods, wouldn't draw, write, or read, and almost never answered or responded to questions you asked him before going keto in 2021 when he was 5 years old. Jump, jump. Hey, then. Jump, jump, baby. Hey. He flapped his hands once in a while but not frequently. If we gave him clay or Legos, he would tell us to make something for him, not creating something himself. I saw many improvements on the keto diet. He started speaking up to three words, <laughs> could write letters, lessened the outburst frequency, lessened bouncing off the walls, had random times where he would say hi to kids, started doing more engaging play, stopped waking up in the middle of the night, stopped stimming completely, and although he didn't create something himself with Legos, he would at least put very intricate and realistic details on the animals that he requested us to make. But I still didn't see much improvement in other areas. Then, when we moved to my hometown in Hawaii earlier this year in February, I gave up on trying to hide veggies in his foods and went keto war. I was tired, okay? He still has occasional keto pancakes, keto desserts, low carb fruits. We aren't opposed to spices. He is mostly down to just chicken, pork, and dairy. Note, on a keto diet, I also supplement him with camel's milk powder, bovine colostrum powder, vitamin D3 and K2 occasionally, and L-carnitine. The reason for this is because although being on a nutrient-dense diet, many autistic people tend to have digestive issues, whether it be low stomach acid, poor absorption in the small intestines, low bile, etc., and will need some support for the time being. And this has been working for us. Brayden still used only one to three words up until a week and a half ago. Suddenly, he began using four words or more, randomly but appropriately. Also, my husband and I noticed that he was a bit more adventurous in trying new foods like beef ribs, where before he would refuse to try anything he didn't recognize. 
He now dresses himself, head to toe, slowly when he doesn't want to go out, but fully dressed and out the door before I am when he wants to go out. He draws full figured objects now. Good job, you drew a nice toucan. Creates beautiful and detailed things with Legos. He may not be able to read English, but he reads Japanese hiragana. Doesn't bounce off walls and answers simple yes or no questions more often. His bowel movements are much more healthy. He gets his own water with ice and plays a little bit with his little brother. Even though not everything has improved, it's only been, I mean, it's only been four months. And I couldn't be happier with this improvement. Just gotta keep at it and I'll see neuroplasticity do its work. Initial struggles. There was a bit of lethargy in the beginning. As soon as I made sure he had the proper amount of electrolytes, he was fine. I did have to deal with a bit of crankiness with the initial high carb detox, but Ketobor wasn't troublesome. It is sometimes difficult when there are times he asks for pears or bananas, but I keep reminding myself that it's for his benefit. So I just keep it to a very special occasion like birthdays. He's a complete goblin the next two days. Like, bad. He who shall not be named, bad. He's eating a son? So this only strengthens my belief of this being the ancestral appropriate diet and keep this to a minimum. I hope you found this interesting and helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.